Hello guys, so let's play this 5 minute game again in which I will ask you some important question and discuss it with you so that your 5 minute break gets adequately utilized. Now ankle brachial pressure index. So among these 4 options you can choose option A that is 1 as the other are the irrelevant options basically ABPI less than 0.4 is for critical ischemia you can read about this index more as they are frequently asking this question lymph drainage is increased from lower limb just by massage it's a irrelevant I think question the renal transplant graft is placed in good question iliac fossa so you should know everything about renal transplant graft from which Renal artery is anastomosed with which renal vein is anastomosed with which nodule on thyroid with lymphadenopathy it depends the question is not complete 35 year male presents with swelling in his scrotum that is not tender separate from testis and trans eliminates Chinese Latin uh, pattern lantern pattern is seen that is the epididymal cyst treatment of contaminated wound of leg is basically debridement and then the antibiotics and uh, proper cleaning all are indications of liver transplantation except so if you read the options cholangiocarcinoma cirrhosis biliary atresia permanent hepatitis so the b c d are the absolute indications but cholangiocarcinoma is not most common benign salivary gland tumor so it is basically pleomorphic adenoma from the options you can see that the mucoepidermoid CA is the most common malignant tumor the adenoid cystic is basically basically the minor salivary gland malignant tumor and the specific feature is that it has a perineural spread now this question is <clears throat> very much important and I think after this whoever is watching this will be able to answer this but people uh, means most of the people will, won't be knowing this so cox peculiar tumor is chronic infection of sebaceous cyst of scalp so cox peculiar tumor is chronic infection of sebaceous cyst of scalp so only if, if you have read this you can answer it in your exam most important diagnostic feature of congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis is non bilious vomiting also for it <coughs> certain criteria are there USG criteria do see them or revise them now gallstone impacted causing intestinal obstruction so basically you will see the gall it is the condition of gallstone ileus having regular triad now what is Raynaud pentat Raynaud pentat is basically the charcoal tri triad along with shock and altered mental status charcoal triad you all know pain fever jaundice now this condition a middle aged male complains of ache and numbness and sensation of fatigue over his muscles that develops on exercise and relieved on rest now this is basically a condition of called intermittent claudication, claudication. so they are asking it is not associated with now you have to uh, keep uh, focus what the question, examiner wants to ask whether he wants to know the condition or he wants to know in which condition it is not found so if you see the smoking intermittent claudication is found peripheral arterial disease true hypertension and hypertension and diabetes true but hypocalcemia is not related to this titany is seen in its hypocalcemia now seton used in fistula in anno is cutting seton x-ray abdomen with multiple fluid levels is intestinal air fluid level intestinal obstruction now this is <coughs> the again uh, you can say uh, the real real type question where I cannot name the exam but you must have understood by now now Maunder's disease so this is basically thrombophlebitis of, of superficial veins of breast now they may also give one picture MCQs with this and I am not naming the exam uh, reminder for you but it is one of the recent question treatment of simple rib fracture include following except now you should know uh, rib fracture management so analgesic physiotherapy early amb amputation is trapping okay so a patient with multinodular goiter developed <coughs> respiratory difficulty following 
which type of thyroid carcinoma is most likely to cause this complication so basically a multinodular goiter is uh, causing respiratory defect and dif uh, distress and the onset is very rapid means the growth of tumor is very rapid so basically it is an anaplastic carcinoma you have to do tracheostomy emergency tracheostomy to re relieve that patient most common carcinoma breast in male is infiltrating ductal CA triangle of doom is related to laparoscopic hernia surgery you will name the boundaries now this completes your five minute break i'll be continuing with other videos the important stuffs till then thank you stay motivated and study hard